Hi, James. Um, as we're watching this video, you'll probably be in Keswick, is that right? Yes, I'll be up in Keswick from Saturday for the uh, beginning of the Keswick Convention. Oh, great. Oh, tell me a bit more about the convention. What's, what's that like? Well, uh, it all began back in 1875 with one of the vicars in Keswick, a guy called Canon Thomas Hartford Battersby, who'd had a wonderful experience of the blessing of God, wanted to share it, so put up a tent on the vicarage lawn and then invited people from across the country to come. Hundreds came and that was the beginning of the Keswick Convention. It's gone on for years and years since. Now there are about 13,000 people each year who gather over the three-week period. Wow. That's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it's great. And then, what's your involvement in, in the convention? How did you first start off being involved? Okay, well, it went back to uh, 1996 when uh, Alison and I were going through uh, an experience of personal tragedy, having, uh, having lost one of our, our boys. And uh, a friend who knew about uh, our experience and who was involved in the music at Keswick invited us to go along, um, I think, to experience Keswick for ourselves and just be encouraged and, uh, and refreshed. But he asked me to play the piano for a couple of prayer meetings, which I was glad to do. Well, it all went from there, really. Gradually, I got more involved in the music and took over responsibility for the music across the, uh, the whole event. And uh, then uh, in 2000, I joined the council as a, a trustee and continued like that for a number of years. And then in May of this year, my uh, colleagues on the board uh, asked me if I would become the, the chairman of, of the, uh, the Keswick Convention. So uh, that began just a few weeks ago. Mm. So this, this coming convention will be the, the first convention that you're there as, as, as not, yeah, not just a punter, but as, yes. as chairman. Yes, that's right. And what are some of the things that you'll be looking forward to at the convention this year? Well, there's so much to look forward to at Keswick. Partly it's just a wonderful place. You know, you walk down the street and you see Skidor. You walk over the hill and you're by the lake. It's just a stunning place to be. And it's so inspiring to be with, with thousands of Christians, worshipping together and, and exploring the Bible together, with a real expectation that God will meet us and, and change us. The, the vision of Keswick is to see the spiritual renewal of God's people for the sake of his mission in the world, which of course is exactly what we value at Above Bar as well. So it's, it's right at the heart of the things that are important to me, whether in Southampton or more nationally at Keswick. So I'm very excited about being there this year. That sounds great. Um, what are some of the things that people um, who are watching this video can pray for the people going on the convention and, and also for you? Thank you. Well, our theme this year has a kind of Olympic feel. It, it's going the distance, so it's all about perseverance and, and running the race, which is a very relevant theme for many of us. So you might perhaps particularly pray for people who come to Keswick who are just a bit exhausted, a, a little bit um, discouraged in their Christian life and service, that God will really use this time mm. to uh, refresh and encourage and recommission them. Perhaps you could also pray for... Um, for, for children and young people who come in large numbers. Many of them are glad to be there. Some of them are there because mum and dad want them to be there. So pray that God will really work in their lives. And then there are also people who come who aren't yet Christians. Maybe their spouse is a Christian or a friend has dragged them along. And you could really pray that God would meet with, uh, with them. But I think most of all, pray that through Keswick this year, thousands of people would be spiritually refreshed and mobilized again in, in, in mission. For me personally, uh, please pray that God will give me wisdom for, for whatever uh, I'm called to, uh, to handle while I'm there. Uh, I'll be preaching five times during the course of the, uh, the three weeks, um, as well as chairing, chairing various meetings and, and meeting lots of people. The first one is a particular challenge. Um, I, I've got to speak on Revelation 20 and the whole subject of the millennium, which of course is an area where many Christians disagree. That's Tuesday of this week and I'd really value your prayer for that. But pray for me also that I'll be renewed and encouraged. And for Alison, who'll be there, also very involved, working with me and others in the team, that it'll be a great experience for her too. Thank you very much, John. Thank you.